hello welcome back again to xfinity today i will show you how to add bank account in google adsense 2022 we will see how to add bank details in google adsense properly with complete guidance so that google adsense does not reject your bank attachment and you can receive payments without any disturbance it's important to attach bank account in Google Adsense to receive money from your YouTube channel once you have completed your $100 which is the minimum threshold to receive payments from Google Adsense. So let's see how to link bank account with Google Adsense. Alright fellas welcome back again to Xfinity and in this video I am going to share very very important things related to the Google Adsense which is how to add a bank account in the Google Adsense. If you want to receive your payments from the YouTube then you need to make sure to watch this video till the end because it is going to be very important on how to attach your bank account in Google Adsense properly without any disruptions. So before you can add a bank account in your Google Adsense, you need to verify two things first. Verify your identity in Google Adsense and you need to verify your PIN which is address verification. Once you have successfully verified both of these things then you can add a bank account in Adsense. And I have made a very special video on both of these. I have made a video on how to verify your identity in Google Adsense. You can check that out from the link in the description or from the i button and i have also made a video on how to verify your address through pin and you can also check both of these videos from the link in the description or you can click on the i buttons from the top all right fellas so once you have completely verified your identity and uh, you have verified your pin then you can add your bank account so in order to add a bank account in google adsense you need to dive straight into your google adsense account as you can see i'm right inside my google adsense account once you're right inside the google adsense you need to click on the payments and once you click on payments you will see payments section and uh, you need to click on add payment method and one important thing to note here is that you can see the option how you get paid and it has a link of add payment method if your channel is recently monetized you aren't able to see how you get paid option into your payment section it means that your channel does not support adding a bank account yet because you need to complete at least $100 before you can add a bank account or if your channel is recently monetized you won't be able to see this option it will appear after almost one month and once it appears you need to add your bank account so you don't need to worry about this if you are unable to see this option it will appear once you get close to the $100 minimum threshold so once you are in you need to click on add payment method now it will ask you two options add new wire transfer details or add new check details you can add any of these but i recommend to use wire transfer because attaching a bank account is much easier as compared to using the check details and if you are from pakistan or india you must use wire transfer or if you are from america then you can select any option that includes the transfer to your bank so once you have selected the particular option in this case i will select add new wire transfer details as soon as i click on add new wire transfer details a form will appear and you need to understand this form very very carefully because it is very important now the first option is beneficiary id which is optional you can leave it you don't need to fill this beneficiary id i recommend to leave it as it is now next thing is name on the bank account this is very important now the name on your adsense account should be same as you are going to write a name on your bank account because once you uh, write name on your bank account for example xyz they will verify whether it is matching uh, the name of your adsense account or not and if you have successfully verified your identity they will also match whether this is a person that is going to add a bank account it, it means that if you have provided the documents that includes your name for example xyz the name should be same on your adsense account which should be xyz and that name should be exactly the same on your bank account for example your account holder name is xyz in your bank account then you should write xyz in this field name on bank account so it means that 
the name on the bank account field your name on the adsense account and your name on the uh, your verified id or passport or driving license should be xyz all right i think you got my point and the next thing is the bank name which depends upon your location if you are from india and pakistan you can select united bank limited that is the best bank and you need to write exactly the same name as it appears on the website and if you are from america then you must select uh, like bank of america or td bank do not go with the short form write the full form in the bank name and the next option is a swift bic this is the swift code of your branch if you do not know the swift code you should visit your branch to get the swift code but if you have a bank account that offers the online banking then you can go to google and you can search the united bank limited swift code uh, let us suppose the bank name is united bank limited i will go to the google.com i will search swift code of ubl your bank name can be different you can also search swift code for td bank you can search for uh, swift code for bank of america and whatever the swift code appears you should write the swift code into that field swift bic and if you are not sure what is the swift code or what is the right swift code you can visit your branch to confirm the swift code and please do not write the wrong swift code because it is going to make many issues while you are receiving your payments the next thing is iban which stands for international banking account number if you are in pakistan and india you may need iban but if you are from the america you should see routing number here you need to write exactly the same routing number or the iban whatever option you have and you need to write this two times enter your iban or routing number twice and make sure they are correct and once you are done you don't need to change the intermediary bank or ffc or fbo because they are by default automatically adjusted by the bank account and you don't need to do anything and once you are done you need to select the option set as primary payment method and you need to click on save once you click on save your wire transfer to bank account will be attached and it will be primary and you will see this option one important tip to note that if you are from Pakistan and India you can directly attach a bank account without any verification but if you are from America or any other country you need to attach a bank account and they will send a small amount of payment into your bank account to verify that this bank account belongs to you or not so the procedure may be different but the result is same so now I will tell you the life cycle of the Payments released from the Google Adsense. Once you have reached the minimum threshold of $100 on your YouTube account, the earnings will be added into your Adsense from 11th to 16th of that month. And if your payments are released from 11th to 16th of that month, you will see the balance into your Adsense account. And once it is successfully added, you will receive your payment into your bank account from 21st to 26th of that month. So that's all guys and I hope you like this video and you have successfully completed your minimum threshold and you are here to watch the video on how to add bank account in your Google AdSense. And I hope this video was very very helpful and if you have any queries you can comment down below. You can also follow me on the Instagram and ask any question that you have or you can also directly chat with me on whatsapp so thank you so much again for watching this video and have a nice day